Do you ever venture into the Guardian's hideout, where you can perch high above and analyze the map below? It's a treasure trove of valuable information about the server you find yourself in. I think the Reaper is gonna win. Athena would win? Especially for the daring solo slooper. The more knowledge I gather about my enemies, the better prepared I am to set sail. It seems like the Helmsman on the Reaper is better. Maybe these guys are focusing more on... They both spammed. No one dropped the mast. How the heck... Oh, what happened here? The sun? I was wrong. The Athena emerged victorious. So before embarking on my solo journey to conquer the Fort of Fortune on the distant horizon, it was crucial to perform a thorough inspection. Out of the five cannon shots, they only managed to land one. Does the brig that won the hourglass? The acknowledgement reassured me that engaging in battle against this brigantine would be manageable, posing no significant threat to my solo adventure. As we exchanged cannon fire, they blocked my path to the fort. It's blended. Oh, what's up? You can't shoot me now. On a board, attempting to restrict my progress. Oh, 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 how's it going? What's up? Bye. Go. Oh. You might ask, why would I feast on a pineapple when a lesser food item would do? The truth is, I possess the uncanny ability to make questionable culinary choices. This to slow you down? Just as a new challenge emerged on the horizon, eat bucket. My plans took an unexpected turn. Instead of sinking the brigantine outright, I inflicted enough damage to keep them distracted, allowing another brigantine to draw near. I need two breaks, I mean... Yes, now I am. Little did I know that these two brigantines were merely the beginning of my trials. Before we proceed, a special thanks to my Patreon supporters. Now sit back, relax, and immerse yourself in this thrilling tale. I want that... Uh... I want that uh, brig to be distracted so the fight can last longer. I like to watch brigs suffer. See what they're up to. By pushing the brigantine aside, I bought valuable time for the Athena, enabling me to complete the Fort of Fortune while the two rival ships wage battle against each other. Why are they just getting pushed away from me? Come. Bully me, I'm solo alone here, look. I mean, the right thing to do for them is for someone to sneak in here. Use the cannon and skadoosh my ship. Let's see how fast we can do this before we get kegged. Decision making becomes an intricate dance when you sail alone, and piracy reveals its true essence. Though I may not be a PvP master, my survival skills are enough to endure, so my go-to strategy became keeping my foes occupied while I forged ahead. But I knew all too well that lurking dangers awaited. Fire bombs are amazing, yeah. From sneaky attacks to looming threats on the open seas. Miraculously, I completed every wave until the Ashen Lord remained the final obstacle. However, there was a catch. The enemies usually bided their time in this treacherous fort, waiting until I had done the lion's share of the work before launching their relentless assaults. I have completed phase one of three with the Ashen Lord. With two more to go, now it was only a matter of time. Food, 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 food. Oh, hi, how's it going, guys? Good to see you. As expected, the enemy ships wasted no time in their assault as soon as I finished the first phase. I was alone. If I sink now, I would be sent far away, and the fort would be lost upon my return. That's a mega keg, and it seems like finally the Athena Brigantine had sunk. That was a mega keg, man. Like moths drawn to light, every ship's crew craved this fort's treasure. Don't, don't. I got hit. <laughs> it would be nice if it blew up, but it didn't because of him. Well, let's wait and see then. Now there's a sloop coming. These guys are coming. These guys are coming with a keg. Where's the mermaid? See? You can read players, I'm telling you, man. Look at where the ship's coming from. Look where they're going. And then you'll know what's happening. There's a keg coming. That's the ESP that everyone's talking about. They're at the fort. They sailed peacefully next to me. I literally made a video about that. They're coming with a keg. Three, two, one. Blah! Yeah, how's it going, man? It would be nice if it Can I? Rare, rare, please. Kegs are part of the game. Now, you can send this clip to the person that said I am... Using ESP, I will answer all his questions. And you guys, 
We're going to sink. After slowing down the brigantine, I stumbled upon another sloop anchored near the fort. Unfortunately, an anchored ship in such dangerous waters usually meant a crew of inexperienced newcomers. How are you? Did you want aliens? How are you? If you want. Okay, this, this, are you alone? Okay. I'll help you out. Let's sink that one and the brigantine. The brigantine's coming. And the brigantine has a lot of what? kegs. What's up? Be careful, be careful. Be careful, set sail, set sail. Events escalated rapidly, and as a persistent disciple of the pirate code, I vowed never to engage vulnerable crews. Instead, my challenge became enhancing their experience. Our bigger time has come, utilizing my skills to guide them toward victory. Thus, the time had come to amplify the intensity and defeat our common enemies. I'm gonna help him. Oh, the heck, what is this rapid fire, man? But unfortunately, upon my return from the ferry, I discovered that the new player's sloop had already met its watery demise. Come back, sloop, I'll help you. Sloop, are you on the ship? Hi, I am friend, I am friend. I'm the, I'm the friend of the guy, of the guy uh, who died. I'm friend. Hello, stay, stay here, stay here. Stay here, yeah. Um, Thank you so much. You're welcome. Do you have someone else with you? So now, I had a castaway stranded on my ship. Oh my, my friend, my friend is dead. Yeah, let him uh, bring back a uh, ship, your ship. Okay. okay. You stay here. Okay. Okay, try not to die. Uh, my friend is gonna arrive uh, with, uh, with my boat. So okay. I can uh, sit here and help Okay. Him. Okay, okay, you can help me. You have to be fast, yeah? Because... Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, Port almost uh, finished. There's no one using towers. My, my friend is uh, uh, in the... In the is, um, on our right. Now, it was just me and my vessel, protecting the duo inexperienced sailors against a persistent slope and an imposing brigantine. With Dash and Lord already in the second wave, the margin of error grew slim. I could not afford to die, as my enemies observed my efforts to aid the sloop. <laughs> Their attacks grew more relentless. I couldn't revive my friend if he were to fall on my ship. He would be instantly sent to the ferry of the damned. Unless, of course, we formed an alliance. But this was made challenging by their earlier wreck. So both enemy ships continued to send players. Take cannon, take cannon. I, I don't have a... I can shoot. Shoot, shoot. Okay. Ooh, they are trying to finish it now. Their aim fixed on completing the fort I desperately guarded. I see your mermaid, my friend. I'm using my ESP eyes. Meanwhile, my friend maintained a cautious distance, making the prospect of an alliance even more unattainable. Okay, that works too. Now you try on board, okay? We have to be within a closer distance to form an alliance. The enemies employed various tactics to bring me down, from daring boarding attempts to raining down cannon fire and setting my ship ablaze. Though these relentless assaults did little to deter me, they damaged my supplies considerably. But a whole thank you. Repairing, fighting back and replenishing dwindling resources became an exhausting act. See, when you put a ship on fire, keeping it dry is actually much more painful. Yeah, I'm gonna make them get the fort today. Let's go. I'm gonna park here. I know it's a bit uh, not the best, but I'm gonna park a bit 
I make sure I blow up all the kegs. Quick is coming back to my ship. Uh, Sloop, uh, come fast, yeah? A thing disappeared. And whoa, let's go! Ugh. Gonna get beat, my friend. Let's go. Beat it, beat it. Nice. Now the back mast is off. Two sloops on them. Brilliant! Our mission is to make sure these... Today I choose the French. We're gonna win the, the chest. Once the brigantine departed in search of gunpowder barrels, and the enemy sloop kept its distance, I realized that the solo slooper was not even attacking the brigantine. Please don't. Don't do that, man. Now I'm gonna have to drop your mast. Instead, it was evident that they had entered an unofficial alliance. Go down for a bit. Let repair. Who's that? Good job, good job. Hello, yes, yes. Go, go finish the fort fast. He's almost done. Finish the fort and take everything. Okay, okay, okay. I'll protect. Seizing this opportunity, we decided to form an alliance. But to our disappointment, the brigantine returned at an astonishing speed. Want to ram into them. They resumed their assault on my allies, threatening to undo their progress in completing the final wave. Hello. We are uh, do everything from that day. All right, quick, quick, uh, go out of here. Nice, good thing there is. To support the alliance, I sacrificed my own planks, using them to repair their dying sloop. Uh, you take um, this boat or you? No, no, I'll take mine. Okay. You try and finish, okay? There's one hiding here, be careful. There's one hiding here. Okay, okay, thank you. I need to chill. This slope is like a... Hi. This slope is like a pest, man. He like comes, shoots, and runs. It's like... Make a plan, man. I need to check my ship. The terror server's here, yeah. With multiple enemies uniting on my weak point, the Alliance Loop, I repeatedly abandoned my ship to come to their aid, using every ounce of my skill to fend off their relentless attack. This doubled the strain on my supplies and significantly increased the risk to my own ship. I had to forfeit my planks, leaving my ship vulnerable. The fast depletion of my supplies felt like watching them vanish before my eyes, pushing me to the edge. This guy. Oh man. Oh, you know what? With that brig. Touch. It's right next to you. Go, 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 go. Now that. Thanks for raising my sails. I was gonna do that anyways. With a mere three planks remaining, all the enemy ships still afloat, and the server devolving into an all-out war. The timing couldn't have been worse. Did I just...
You're in the wrong ship, man, if you want to steal supplies. Thanks. My resources were almost depleted, and I desperately needed more planks to patch every hole in my ship. Oh, my ship, you should give me supplies. And deny! Finally, it was time to execute a daring maneuver. I take a personal now, Brig. Feeding the brigantine to the skeleton crew. Anchor, 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 anchor. Oh. Barely a hair scope away from Davy Jones, I fought tirelessly to bail out water and keep my sloop afloat. Wait. Oh my god, did the brigantine sink? Yes! <laughs> the brigantine sunk, I hired the skelly galleon and... <laughs> yes! Whew. My sparse supply of planks barely enough to make the necessary repairs, but the full might of the brigantine crew descended upon me, determined to end my adventure. Bye. And... Bye. I'm gonna have to do something. I'm gonna have to abandon ship to be honest. So, why didn't the skeleton galleon attack me as fiercely as it did to others? Skeleton crews have a preference for moving targets. Once provoked, their ship has to be in constant movement and unable to stop. Therefore, attacking targets within their range. Also, the calm waters upon which I was parked allowed my ship to fill up slower than it would in high waves. <coughs> My sloop wobbled on the edge of oblivion. With no supplies left on the solo slooper, chasing my every move, it was time for a new plan, an act of surrender. By faking defeat, I will shift their attention away from searching for me. We're gonna sail while bailing. All right. He's trying to, they would know I had made it for the island if I sink close to the fort. Sinking further away would lure them in a different direction away from the fort, as their stubborn determination centered on my end. He's gonna have to come back, technically there's no one on the ship anymore, so I would give him that. I chose a location that provided enough distance, allowing me to abandon my ship and simulate defeat. As I secretly swam back to the island, the fort reached its conclusion, and the chest of fortune was claimed. No ship was in sight, indicating that the chest must be hidden on the island, though it was evident that someone was still present. The solo slooper was still at a distance, and it wasn't the brigantine, for we had sunk them earlier. The eerie silence hung in the air. Someone lurked in the shadows, clutching the chest. Now, tasked with defending myself until I find the chest of fortune, I set up traps. Suddenly, a sparkle caught my eye. The treasure we sought. However, a difficulty arose. Should I swim to safer shores, or should I wait for them to come back? It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. Take it, take it, take it's it. It's me. Okay. I don't move. is coming. Stay, stay. Oof. Whoa. With nothing left to lose, okay. I pushed myself to the limit. <laughs> ensuring our friend had every chance to secure the chest. Yet, their ship had met the same watery fate as mine. He's up there, he's gonna blow up now. Good night. I mean, dude, you're talking in the game, man. You have to uh, be careful. Be careful, they can hear you. They can hear you when you talk. And to make things worse, the brigantine returned. Accompanied by the sloop. Ah, he's gonna lose this. He's gonna lose this, and I'm probably done now. 
Against all odds, we found ourselves in this dangerous predicament. I had only one life remaining, our chances appeared slim, and I started losing hope. I could not tell him that he shouldn't talk in the game. The language barrier posed an additional challenge, as communication in game would expose our location, making this more challenging. Come, come, let me show, let me, let me show you something. Come, come fast. Okay, take it, take it. Maggie, come, come, come. Where, where, where I go? Wait, wait, there's someone here. Both enemy ships stayed close. Where I go? Mais je pas, je pas. Okay, mais I, I can take the uh, coffre and, uh, and my friend. Uh, Undeterred by my merciless slaying, they repeatedly respawned near the island, launching fresh attacks. And thanks to the earlier alliance, I could revive him. Okay, okay, take, 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 put somewhere else, quick, quick. Is your friend close? My, my friend, uh... I, I go to, to my friend boat and I um, and I sell it. Okay, come, come, swim, swim, swim this way, swim. Our final opportunity was to swim far away and to desperate defense. It's, it's him, it's him. I watched his back as I scanned the surroundings for sharks, sirens, or lurking players. I would say it like, <laughs> Oh no, no, <laughs> no, please. Oh my god. Oh, god, he's gonna lose the cheats. I, I, can, I can't do anything more than that, to be honest. Attacked by both enemies and the sirens, this was the embodiment of a near-death experience in the treacherous world of Sea of Thieves. Go, 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 quick, quick, quick! <laughs> then, with a single well-placed shot, I demonstrated my pistol in what I excelled at. The chest was secured just moments before the enemy could snatch it away. Oh yes, yes, you have the... I, I killed him, I killed him, yeah, go, go, go! <laughs> and so, with our prize in hand... Yes, yes, yes. yes victory! <laughs> you, you, you're a good player! Fix, fix, oh, fix the ship! You. Thank you, guys. Welcome! Oh. It was time to flee, as if our lives depended on it. How many chests uh, like this you have? Uh, you, you uh, my zero. Life. It's my first. This is my first. This is your first? Wow, nice. Okay. <laughs> you are on Twitch right now. Huh? We're on Twitch. Okay, okay. <laughs> Serious? Oh, okay. Yes. yes, how are you? <laughs> wish on TikTok, wish. What is it, TikTok? He knows me on TikTok? Wish, he has 11,000 abonnees. Wish, he's not Cool. Yeah. Oh, they know my TikToks! Okay, sell uh, here. Yes, to gold order. Knowing that this was their first taste of the chest of fortune made our victory all the more rewarding. Bonne nuit! What? Bonne nuit! Bonne nuit! Bye bye! Hey, good, stay awesome. Thank you for all the love.